Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. My name is Chisalto. Last time we left off, we were actually in the Fendrana's Edge region, but <clears throat> I decided that there was no point in leaving in the footage of coming all the way back here just to get to the phase on mines. So, we're gonna go to the phase on mines because I believe we pretty much finished everything up um, in the Fendrana section and the Magmore and Chozo areas as well. So, all we have left, I believe, is everything in the phase on mines. Uh, last, uh, actually, actually, something I just realized, in the footage from going from the Fendrana area to here, I, uh, I got a, 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 I cannot speak, I grabbed another energy tank, so you'll see that on screen in the corner or something somewhere where I got the, the extra energy tank. So that being said, I've gotten that right, yeah. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the phase on mines. Uh, we're just gonna go through the frigate Orphan again, and yeah, that seems like a long, tedious process, but since all the doors are already open, it's not going to make a difference. Um, we need to go over here. <coughs> so we go down and around over here. And of course, a bunch of blast caps, so. You know what, I'll just go ahead and meet you guys at the uh, phase on mines. Alright, so I made my way through the uh, crashed frigate orphan, and uh, five minutes later, we're now at the phase on mines. So, although for you it was like a second, maybe two, three at the most. Okay, so, let's see, we have a few missile expansions to get. I don't think we have any power bomb expansions to get, and we have three Chozo artifacts, um, and I believe all three of them are here. So starting off in this area, there's a bunch of space pirates out in the loose that will know we're here immediately. But if we do a charge shot, we can snipe them. And on top of that, the the play 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 the phase on beam. Yeah, sure we'll go with that. No, the plasma beam just takes everything out in one hit, pretty much. And as you can see over there, those mega turrets are gone because they, even though they were pretty powerful, they still were uh, rendered useless against Sammy over here. So, uh, there's that. And what we want to do, I don't know why it gave me power bomb ammo, I didn't need any. What we want to do is head up over here and take the long way up. We could save, and I might do that once we're done in this room, but I don't think I'll need to. I think I'll leave it as is. Okay, there's another guy up there. Also, something I may not have mentioned, I really enjoy the theme for this area. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know, I just enjoy it. It feels stealthy. It feels like a stealthy sort of theme. And you are supposed to be somewhat stealthy in this area. Like, don't alert everything if you can help it, because otherwise you're in, you're in deep shit, deep shit. Also, the last time we came... Oh god, okay, don't. Speaking of last time I came, oh god. Um, <laughs> no, last time we were... When we were actually leaving the phase on mines. Remember that that one episode where I was uh, obsessing over a shortcut? Okay, I need to stop cussing today. I'm, I'm cussing too bad today. Um, that, that one episode where I was, I was obsessing over a certain shortcut that I knew was somewhere and it wound up being exactly where it should have been. Well, we came out through where I'm trying to get to, I believe, like right up here, right over here. This is where we came out through, like the shortcut took us to right here. So there we go, that, that just, just, this is what we should, we should have done all of this when we got here, but we didn't, so. Let's see, scan this, require power, so we need to make our way back over there. So make ourselves up top and scan this panel, but require power. So that means we have to give power to something, which means, oh, there's a thingy. And there we go. Charged up with our uh, good old wave beam, and now it's flashing red. So that, that one shot gave it enough power. And now we can activate it. And it's going to break something. Notice there's a spider ball track on it. Oh, and notice what it releases. 
Oh, look at these scans. Report all fails and mutations, science team immediately, yada yada. See, if you really did, if you really are interested in the game, go through and scan. Like, if you're interested in the backstory of the game, go through and scan every single thing. Not just the logbook scans, but everything. And you will learn so much about this game, I promise you. You will learn every, like, detail. It's actually quite interesting. So that being said, we just got to, uh, spider ball our way up here and grab that missile expansion. And boom. That's actually pretty much all there is in this room, is one missile expansion. But, one's better than none. So, we're gonna start our way all over and work our way straight through the mines. I could take a shortcut, but there's a couple things that we have to get along the way. So we're gonna come through here like normal. And I believe there's just standard... Okay, we've got the Invisi Pirates here. So first off, right here, we have a gate made of Bendesium. And Bendesium is weak to power bombs. And what's in here? Well, gee, a missile expansion. So, there we go. Now we have a max of 220. So, let's see, 225, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250. Not many left to go. And, of course, we have some wave troopers. Here I can show you. That. That is the uh, wave buster. That took 20 missiles. Or actually, 22 missiles, technically. But it got rid of him, so. We can just keep that fully charged up here. And then it'll lock onto the next one immediately. Or not. I mean, if you have plenty of missiles like we do now, then it's it's pretty useful. But uh, otherwise, it's not really worth the time. I believe these are standard power pirates up here. No, actually, I think they're ice up top. But we need to get rid of that guy. There we go. I believe there are ice troopers up here, if I remember correctly. Yep, okay, I remember correctly, good. And yeah, like I've mentioned the first time we encountered these guys, they used to be broken in the GameCube version to where you shoot them and freeze them, and a missile will kill them. But they made that, they, they pretty much patched that, to where only the ice beam will kill them. But that's fine, because they still are easy to get rid of, because, I mean, they stay frozen. It's, it's kind of like the wave beam. It's pretty much just as easy. So there we have it. <clears throat> now, we need to get rid of this guy first. And then there's another gate there made of Bendesium. If we scan it, it'll say Bendesium. So, blow that up. And we reveal a panel. Scan that panel, and that red door is opened up. So, let's make our way back through to get that. Let's just clear some uh, bars here. So we can boost our way through. Okay, or not. I was gonna like try and like legitimately boost, but I guess not. We'll roll. How about that? We'll just roll our way down. Roll, roll, roll the ball gently down the Metroid. That, 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 that didn't make any sense. Okay, so through here we have our final beam combo. The flamethrower. Alright, so now that we had the flamethrower, it's basically the same thing as the uh, wave buster, but the plasma beam is equivalent. So, for instance, we go, let's go through here, charge up the, the uh, plasma beam, and then ignite a missile, and it's a flamethrower. So, there we have it. It's actually pretty, it's, it's really cool, to be completely honest, it's really cool, but it's such a waste, like... All the beam combo weapons, aside from the super missile and maybe the ice spreader, are a waste. Like, just a complete waste of missiles, so... But it's still neat to have, and it can be useful, I guess. You just have to have a lot of missiles for it to be any help at all. So, that being said, we got some more of the Invisi Pirates, as usual. Knock him out. There we go. And we just make our merry way right through here all over again. But, once we get through this room here, this guy 
we need whoa okay my sensor bar fell again oh okay my sensor bar fell hold on just a second here hold on let me fix this oh, okay let's see if we can fix that let's see if we can fix that okay my sensor bar fell down for some reason that's better all right so if we remember scanning this it says bendesium well why would we want to blow this up because he gives us something when we kill him. So this guy is... What is he? He uh, has an elite. Basically this is a... Uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? The mega pirate or whatever they are. Elite pirate. But just pure phase arm. Like just pure phase arm. He doesn't shoot anything at you. He doesn't suck up your energy. Well I guess he does. But all he does is just that, like ground pound, and suck your energy up. He doesn't shoot anything at you, but he does take a lot of hits of super missiles, apparently. There we go. So that was like five super missiles, and he's dead. So, to defeat, or after we defeat him, though, we get a Chozo artifact. That is why we had to release him. So now we have... One of the last three. So now we just have two left. Let's see, are there any logbook scans here that I missed? No, but what is this? Wait, what? Recommended battle systems for elite pirates are as follows. Shoulder mounted plasma, tailor cannon, repulsion shield, wave quake projector, energy siphon system, and retractable wrist bayonets. Retractable wrist bayonets? There is, there is no bayonets with these guys. None of the elite pirates have... Oh, hi. Oh... Ouchie. Oh yeah, never mind, I don't need to worry about that. I've got a guard right here. Kind of. Oh, okay. Also, the regular turrets, when you shoot them, they stay frozen pretty much permanently, but however, the mega turrets, when you shoot them with ice, like when you freeze them with an ice beam, they, they only stay frozen temporarily, very, very, very temporarily. Oh, damn, that was quicker than I thought it was. Okay, you know what? Fine. Damn. That has so much damage. They really do cause too much damage. Oh well, that being said, let's make our way up here. I, I'm saying that being said a lot. I probably should break that habit. For some reason, I get stuck on certain words for short periods of time. I don't know why, I just do. And apparently right now, it's that being said. So, it's just that being said, let's go down here. Well, we're just making our way through like normal. Now we need to make our way up to the very top. I think there's Metroids in here now. I think there's Metroids in here now, if I remember correctly. I don't know, but we need to make our way to the top. So, let's go ahead and do that. No, no. No, we just, we don't gotta do all that. We just need to, uh... Make our way to the top, that's all we gotta do. Just make our way to the top. Well, not really the top, we gotta jump down one, but we already have this set up, so let's just make our way to the top anyways. I said make our way to the top like 8,000 times. I'm just over-observing everything I say. So, let's see here. We've already gone through this. Yeah, that's Ice Beam. Or, um, Ice Beam! That's where we got the, uh, grapp the grappling beam. Then this is just a shortcut back to the entrance, and there's a dog barking. Which nobody apparently likes to keep quiet, so you're gonna hear dog barking probably. No, we need to make our way down here. There we go. Ah, this reminds me of the good old rotten episode that we had. That one, that one, that one episode where I came into Phase on Mines. That was a train wreck. Like that was just a train wreck. Coming, or rather, exiting the Phase on Mines. That was just a complete train wreck. Like, going in, taking care of things, getting the power bombs, that was fine. But leaving was just a complete and utter train wreck. Like, I, I just slandered that completely. I made that, I made myself look like a, like a, like, 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 like a, I don't know. But it wasn't very good. I, I, I don't like that one episode, but, oh well. I made the best fit that I could. I, uh... I turned a 40-minute recording into a 15-20-minute episode, so that, that, that's how much filler there was. 
Now, if we go through here, I think there's another... Nope, there's not. Okay. I was going to say, I think there's another elite pirate, but there's not, apparently. I just nothing but invisible pirates. Okay, where are you at? Um, let's see, is there any logbook scans? Just double check since I'm here that I didn't miss any. What is through here? I think that's a tra I think I know what transport that is, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah, I know it's I don't I do not want to go that way. I do not want to go that way. Also, I believe I grabbed the map last time I was here, the map of the phase on mines, and I should not have because I forgot to scan maps. Or map stations, rather. I did not know until a, f a friend of mine told me recently that the map stations are logbook scans. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I just I assumed they weren't logbook scans for some reason. So, yeah. So this is going to be 99% scans run apparently, because I missed I missed the map stations. I missed all of them somehow because I didn't know. I didn't know till it was too late that oh those are logbook scans. So. Oh well, and no reds, so we are good. So yeah, I missed. Uh, I, I mean, I may, I may not have missed it, but I'm pretty sure I missed scanning the map station. I don't remember scanning it last time I was here. So if I did, then that's amazing. But if I didn't, then 99% run it is. It'll be a 100% pickup though. So let's see. No, okay, now this. And I don't need that over there. That's that's where the map is that uh, I didn't scan. This 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 map this map right here. I failed to scan it. You should be able to scan these after you use them. Like you really should be able to. Uh, oh well. Um. Let's make our way through here and just knock these guys. Actually, you know what? No. I don't need to mess with any of that. I can just make my way down. If the door opens... There we go. Okay, so right in here we will have to fight one of the elite pirates because they break out. Or he breaks out. Let's just charge shot him. I don't want to waste too many missiles because I'm running low. Alright, come on now. Come on now. Do your earthquake. Dear Captain Planet. Oh, wow, that was quick. Plasma Beam is overpowered. That, that, that took him down really quick. Alright, so through here, we will have some Ice Pirates, but we can take care of them like this. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I believe they're stuck there for a while, too, so... Let's ignore them and just 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 run through. Okay, run, run. Okay, good. Look at that. All four of those turrets. I wonder how long it would take to kill me if I just stood there. Like literally, if I just stood there, I wonder how long it would take to kill me. Look, look at all them. There's four turrets here. Four heavy turrets. That's crazy. Oh well. Um. Let's see, now we're back here where we dead-ended last time. If we scan some things, like this... Warning, force field disengaged. Metroid containment area will be breached. They keep... They're, they're keeping the Metroids around a lot of phase on. But, um... If you go ahead and release the Metroids, they tackle the space parts for you. As long as you stay out of their, their, their sight. But, like, look, watch this. Watch this epic battle here. He's swinging at nothing. And dead. I believe a fully charged plasma shot will kill them. So, let's see. Yeah, it does. You can also ice beam them. And uh, take care of them that way. Sort of look around. No logbook scans. Nope. So let's just snipe this guy. Now, the reason we couldn't go through here before, like when we got here originally, is because we needed the X-ray visor. So, now that we have that, we can just make our way through. And there's a power bomb, but I, I guess I'm not getting it. Oh, I need to scan those. That's right, I think. 
Yeah, I need to scan the power bomb ammunition. Woo, that was close. I almost forgot that one. Um, but yeah, so X-ray visor because invisible platforms all in this little area here. Now, if we fall down in there, that's phase on. We'll take damage. So I don't think we want to take that much damage. Just uh, knock away these metros and look. See, the damage slowly gets faster and faster, so it will kill you very quickly if you just stand in the middle of it. Now, I don't think I need to scan these mushrooms, right? Right. Uh, do I need to scan? Okay. Oh, okay. There's a Bendesian wall. Yeah. I was gonna say I thought I scanned the spider trail or spider spider ball tracks already. We need to blow this up though. <clears throat> and this wall here. I'm gonna blow, blow both of them up, I believe. Yep. To reveal spider ball track, which we don't need to get across. We can just, you know, we can just walk across here. But get up here, and we'll get another missile expansion. Right up here. So there we go. And now we're just going to make our way to that door over there. I believe we can get up there without uh, using this, but we'll use this anyways because it, it's pretty cool. I like the way they designed it. Just two strips. They just put two straight strips next to each other to get up there. It looks like it's supposed to be just like, just ghetto, but it's not. I like that. Okay, these would be scanned? Nope. Same old burrowers. Except to just dodge their hits. They're annoying. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the phase on mines level three. We're going even deeper into the mines. <clears throat> All right, so um, you know what? I forgot to end the part off earlier. So we're gonna end the part off now. After do some editing, this this will probably be like 25 minutes long. So I forgot I forgot to do the whole ending the part off thing. So we'll go, we'll take care of now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one where we tackle. The third floor of the Phase on Mines. Take it easy and peace out.